Hello everyone. Welcome to Partshala. Now in this video, we will see what is mean by pretend models and how we can use these models for our task like classifying cat and dog with small image data set. So let's see what is mean by pretend models. Pretend models are the saved model with its weight after training. Generally, these types of models are really a deep neural network means number of hidden layers are more than two another important feature is these models are trained on very large data set for example ImageNet where we have 14 million images also these are trained on generalized data set for example again ImageNet where we have thousand different classes. So these models are useful for our task. How these models are useful for us? So we have seen in one of the previous video, lower layers of convolutional neural networks concentrates on learning the important and basic features like color, lines in various angles and so on. So these features are basically learned over a very huge data set which is generalized one. So these lower layer features are almost same for our task. For example, cat and dog classification problem. So the features for cat and dog is almost learned by the pre-trained model in its initial layers since it is trained on generalized data set. So we can use lower layers for the task of cat and dog classification. When we can use pre-trained models? So basically we can use these models when we have small data set for the task in hand. Suppose I am working on classification of cat and dog but the problem is I have very small data set for cat and dog. Generally in deep neural network it is said that if you have larger data set then it is likely that you will get more accurate result. In this case size of data set is very small. Now how we can achieve more accurate result with small data set? So the solution is pre-trained models because in pre-trained initial layers we have already learned the important features. So in such cases we can use pre-trained models. Examples for pretend models are VGG, ResNet, Inception, Inception, ResNet, Exception. We are going to talk about VGG model. Okay, so VGG 16 model was introduced by Karen and Andrew in 2014. Why the name is 16? Because there are 16 different layers. If we are counting the layers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 layers are there by skipping pulling layers. That's why the name is VGG16. Now, if we observe any convolutional architecture, then we will find that in the initial part model includes series of con 2d pooling con 2d pooling this series is called as convolution base and after that we are going to use flatten layer to convert matrix into the vector and then we will add certain dense layers for performing the actual classification task. So the upper dense layer part is called as classifier. So any convolutional neural network is made up of convolution base and the actual classifier. Let's see how we can use this model for our task. So there are two different ways for using VGG16 model for our task. First is feature extraction and second is fine tuning. So let's see first method feature extraction. So in feature extraction, whichever the features learned by VGG16 model in its convolution base, we are going to use those features as it is. For example, this is convolution base. So whichever the features learned by these 
layers that will be used as it is for the classification of cat and dog then where we have to make changes we have to make changes in the actual classifier part okay so vgg16 model is widely used and simple convolutional neural network architecture used on imagenet so we have seen that in imagenet we have thousand classes but in our case we have only two classes cat and dog so ultimately we have to modify the higher layers in a such a way that output layer will include only one neuron which has responsibility whether the given image is of cat or dog okay after that we have to train this modified neural network from start to end but remember this we have to freeze this convolution base okay because we are going to use these features as it is for our task so this is all about feature extraction second method is fine tuning in case of fine tuning we are going to unfreeze some of the higher layers of frozen part okay so we are going to unfreeze this part and we will modify the higher actual classifier neural network also so after doing this we have to again train this neural network from start to end so this particular part will be frozen and this particular part will be unfrozen means we are going to update the weight for the higher layer of convolution base and also the actual classifier part means what we are going to learn higher levels features which are very much abstract and complex one for the actual task in hand that is classification of cat and dog so these are the two simple ways with which we can use vgg16 model for our task in next video we will see coding part for feature extraction and fine tuning. Thank you for watching the video.